Also this morning, Richard Shankman, a Connecticut advertising executive, may face charges today in connection with a hostage standoff that ended with a massive house fire. Tina Martin of our Hartford station WFSB has the latest from South Windsor. Tina, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Russ. I'm going to step out of the shot so you can see the charred remains of the house Richard Shankman once shared with his wife Nancy. We'll also zoom into a car. That's the car police say Richard Shankman kidnapped his wife in yesterday. Flames lit up the night sky. He was on the phone for an extended period of time. Uh, surprisingly, the house burned for some 30 to 40 minutes. But it wasn't until flames reached the basement that Richard Shankman finally surrendered to police. It's pretty sad, very sad to see someone light their own house on fire and be inside of it. His ex-wife Nancy Tyler had escaped after more than 12 hours in captivity. Shankman missed a court hearing yesterday in the couple's bitter divorce dispute and abducted his estranged wife. A local newspaper report Shankman asked for the judge who presided over their divorce to remarry them and at one point asked a priest to come to the house to give his ex-wife the last rites. Police tell us Richard Shankman is still in the hospital, and if he is still in the hospital later today, he will be arraigned there. Charges include reckless endangerment, kidnapping, and arson. Russ, back to you. Okay, Tina Martin of WFSB in Hartford, thank you so much. We appreciate it.